Hi guys, today we're going to do a fun updo and we've started by making these curls and I will link the video to how we made these so that you can recreate them if you'd like. First off, I've just made a part on the top of her head on the side. I just did that when I was putting the curlers in so that that would already be made. And then I'm going to make a part on each side of that just down to her ear. And then I'm just going to section this off for a minute so it stays separated from the rest of her hair. Okay, and then with this part in the back, I'm just going to make a half ponytail. It doesn't need to be parted out completely perfectly. But just smooth out the top. And then I'm just going to add a clear elastic. I'm making this pretty loose. And then I'm just going to push this up a little bit so that there's a little poof right there. And then just slide a bobby pin in underneath to kind of hold it in place. And then one more crossing on the top. If you'd rather tease or rat this area, you can do that. I kind of try to avoid that when I can. So after you get this top part looking how you want, now I'm going to add a couple of ponytails down here at the bottom. And you want these kind of loose. So about like that. And then just the same thing on this side. Okay, so at this point you should have three ponytails. Two pigtails and one on top. And now I'm basically just going to pin these curls all over her head. And there really is no exact science to this. You just kind of pull the curls up and pin them randomly. The bobby pins that I'm using, I got at Sally Beauty Supply. And they're pretty small. They're like miniature bobby pins, but they hold really tightly. I've tried cheaper bobby pins before, and they just don't do as good a job as holding. So that is something I'm willing to splurge on and pay a little bit more. It makes a huge difference. And if you can cross the bobby pins as you're going over each other, they'll hold even more securely. So I try to do that when I can. Okay, now that I've got some of this pinned and out of the way, I'm going to add a ribbon to where I place this part on the front. You could use a headband for this if you wanted, but I'm gonna have her hold the rest of this hair up and out of the way while I tie this underneath. And then I'm gonna add these sides in at this point to smooth this out. I'm just going to add a little bit of hairspray and then just kind of smooth the top part. I'm not combing the curls at all. And then you can just bobby pin that right in. And I am crossing over a bobby pin that's already there so that it will hold more securely. I'm going to do the same thing in the front on this side. I'm going to twist this side a little bit so that the bangs will kind of stay down towards her ear. And now I'm just going to pin in the rest of these curls.
Okay, so I've got it looking about how I want it. I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray and then just kind of smooth this top part down so that it doesn't have as many flyaways. You'll just need to use as many pins as you feel like you need to so that it will stay secure.